Now let's understand why there is a differences in a price when a company comes for IPO. Because you might have seen various IPO offer when a company makes this statement like anybody wish to subscribe kindly send your applications with 1000 rupees whereas the face value is only 10 rupees. So people say why such a huge premium? What is the logic? When a company comes to public for the first time why, why the company is asking 1000 rupees by highlighting a fact called 10 rupees face value? If at all if a company needs 1000 rupees straight away company can take 1000 rupees no Morgan. Or if a company wants 10 rupees, a company can still take 10 rupees. Why company highlights 10 rupees and taking 1000 rupees from me? That actually creates a, a doubt in the a common man that Murugan, does it mean that 10 rupees is alone my money and 1000 goes elsewhere? Not like that. Just imagine, uh, let's say I, I have started this business about uh, 10 years before and I've got this building which is owned by me. That is what the only investments I made in this business, assume in that way. Let's assume that I bought this building by paying 50 lakhs. Just I paid 50 lakhs to buy this building about 10 years before. But as of today, this building worth rupees 3 crores. Meanwhile, I didn't see any aspect of growth except the building. So I think by this time you can have a rough understanding that the current value of the business because of the building is only 3 crores. Meanwhile, let's say you are telling me that Murugan, I can give you a wonderful offer provided you take me a partner. Do you wish to? I said yes, I am also looking for a partner. If you wish to join me, do join me. But how much stake you want? How much percentage you want? You are telling me that Murugan, I want, I want it to be an equal partner. I said I have no problem. You can join me as an equal partner. Then I have asked the question, how much capital you got to bring to the business? You are asking me an again question that Murugan, how much you brought here? I said I have invested 50 lakhs. Then again you are responding me that Murugan, I don't mind giving you 50 lakhs because you invested 50 lakhs. Let's be an equal partner. Is it fair? Actually not because remember I have invested 50 lakhs not today about 10 years before. Today that same building, today my business worth 3 crores and you are ready to invest only 50 lakhs asking 50% is not fair. I hope you understand. So that is the reason why. I may not be interested. Since I conveyed my you know, reasons to you, you also agree to the fact that the today's valuation of the building is 3 crores and you are now responding me that Murugan, I don't mind giving you 3 crores, take me an equal partner. It means what? I have already got a building which is 3 crore and now you are getting, you are investing additional 3 crores and then the size of the business become 6 crore. Whereas I want 50%, you want 50% is a fair deal. With that, I am also convinced. So what I going to do? I take your 3 crores. In my books, I account that Murugan's capital, 50 lakhs. And new partner capital, 3 crores. What my auditor think about it? He may think that Murugan is just 50 lakh invested out of 3.5 crores company. And you have invested 3 crores. So naturally, he take... Murugan as a minority shareholder and you as a majority shareholder. Probably he consider I own one seventh of the company and you own six seventh of the company. That's not fair, am I right? That's the reason why I've told you that, sir, you bring three crore to the business. In fact, I keep all the money inside the business. So if you look at the company asset next day, building is actually three crores. Your cash balance is additional three crores. So the company total value becomes six crores. But I gonna account only 50 lakh as a capital contribution, remaining 2.5 crores, what you bring to the table is actually called as premium. So now you might have understood through the capital contribution of 50 lakhs, you and me have become equal. That is the reason why I have not accounted your 2.5 crore as a capital, rather I have counted as what? Share premium. So if you look at the books of accounts, your books of account shows this way. The partner A capital 50 lakh, partner B capital 50 lakhs, a share premium which is 2.5 crore. And if you look at the asset side, you have a building asset which is 3 crores and you have the cash balance which is 3 crores. But if I revalue the building, then I will also have my books which is a reserves which actually built over a period of time of the building. It's again 2.5 crores. This is how the balance it is only for recording purpose 
to make sure that today's investor and 10 years before investor to at par there is a premium collected now go back to the original thought when it comes to ipo remember the company is not new the company is already in existence the company might have formed the structure the company may be already selling the products company may be already making money they are after all to expand the business they are knocking public for the first time so remember you being a new owner will not be treated at par with the guy who promoted the business long ago so your money will not be fully treated as face value rather or partially treated but if you see that the premium is so high heavily company charging by understanding the valuations of the business then you don't have to be a part of it but how do i understand the valuations burger for that you have to do a fundamental analysis for that you can actually look at the subsequent sessions to understand is it possible or not or how to do a fundamental analysis